Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. A pretty late one, sorry about that, but today what we're doing is, as you see, we are on the 538 um, site and we are doing a video, a different type of video. It's actually saying what um, some states, when, um, what factors with um, different um, blocks, different um, groups of people. For example, white voters, Latino voters, Asian voters. Um, educated voters for each party to essentially win based on 2012 and 2016 results but as you see something that might be an issue is that again this is um, based on a model of 2012 results so again this isn't going to be perfectly accurate but this is essentially what um, each party still needs to uh, win each state so as you see let me just um, tell you more in depth as you see here on my screen, basically, as you see, white, we have white women, white men, black, Hispanic, Latino voters, and Asian voters. And essentially, as you see, for example, with white women, basically, since it's on the red side, it's essentially saying that um, white women voters um, are turning out. 65% of white women voters are turning out to vote, and they're going 55% to 45% or to other 55% um, to the Republicans. And so, Basically, see if you see if I switch it just let's say um the turnout to go I guess a bit up you see that moves North Carolina um back so uh, so if you do take a look uh we'll just give you some some, some scenarios so essentially again this was the 2012 results 333 332 for Obama 52 percent of the vote Mitt Romney 206 47 percent of the vote and Essentially, what? Um, let's assume that there's about three percent of third-party vote because again, Gary Johnson gets about two percent. Joe, two two and a half percent. Joe Stein gets about half a percent. Um, half a percent, maybe even a percent. Um, but essentially, um, uh, well, and we're gonna split the white vote by gender. So, uh, assuming, um, uh, again, black turnout was down in 2016. So. Let's assume um, the it goes down to about 60%, let's just say, and it goes to about 90% um, t um, to the Democrats, as you saw. Um, actually, let me, let's reset this. You take a look from 93 to 90% um, and 55% of the turnout out, um, nothing really much changes. Again, lots of these states have, um, toss up states don't have that much of a of a, um, um, don't have a humongous uh, black population, but again, um, Trump is an issue with his, um, rhetoric on Latinos. Uh, let's assume the turnout is up about 60% and going about, um, they're going about, um, 17 and 20 to the Democrats. Just assume, as you saw, Florida did go, um, to the Democrats. And let's assume that the Republicans can do better with men. They've done better with men. As you see, that's, that moved a lot. That moved New Hampshire, Ohio, Virginia, and Florida to the Republicans. But let's assume white women do um, are going more for um, Democrats. And they're turning out about the same numbers. As you saw, so much moved. About North Carolina, Ohio, Wisconsin, Michigan, and New Hampshire. All of these states, and even Arizona, all of these states moved. But if you reset it back... Um, this is just, again, an assumption. Um, but essentially, uh, if Democrats want to win, they essentially again need to um, where they need to turn out voters. Um, example: If they can get a majority of Lat um, a majority of the Latino population going them um, seven and ten, as you see, they win. This is essentially the same result that President Obama got. But let's say black turnout is, is low, they're getting 9 in 10 voters, but only about 55% are turning out. Again, the, the popular vote changes, but not much of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the electoral college. So Democrats just need to hold their own. Now, for Republicans, it's a bit harder. So, again, if you reset this again, they need um, some of these uh, more, um, again, more, um, a bit more of... Each again. Let's assume Hispanic um, Hispanic turnout is higher. Um, again, that moves Florida. 
so that's another state they need to make up already. But let's, again, let's assume Donald Trump did very well with white men. Let's assume you can do get, get about um, 7 and 10 voters. Again, that gets you already very close. But let's assume white women um, side to the Democrats, or side to the Democrats just barely. Again, same result. So, what they need to hope is turn out their base as well. So, Demo um, white men, they need to turn them out. 68% around there. As you saw that moved Ohio. Um, they also, example, let's just say they can turn out more white women. Um, won't really make a difference, but so let's just leave it there. Uh, it's bad, it's example, black voters, let's assume they, their um, turnout goes low as they saw Virginia moved. Again, he, the Republicans are creeping up there. Say um, Asian voters or other voters, Indian Americans, etc., go lower. Only about 45% of them turn out. As you see, once again, um, they actually lost votes. So, again, this is an issue because. The Republicans don't do so well with um, non-white voters. So let's assume they can actually win the, w the women's vote. As you saw, I just barely moved to 3% and they won Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Florida. So just seeing this, they need, um, the Republicans need to do a bit more to win um, elections. As you see, I have to move um, them win a majority of white women, win a majority of white men. And turn out for the, the Hispanic um, population go up, but black voters go down, Asian voters go down, and they barely win. Um, they do get, of course, um, in this scenario, a popular vote majority. Um, but again, um, but let's assume that we get um, so, um, a surge in third parties. F um, let's say about 6%. As you see, the popular vote totals go down. Um, so actually, let's reset this again. But let's assume that the third party vote, um, just hype on a hypothetical basis, let's just assume it's about seven percent again. Um, again, they need to turn out, um, win white men in a in big numbers. Turn out be high. Um, again, just with white men with about seven and ten, a uh, seven and ten white men coming out to vote. Um, them getting six and ten of them, winning. Um, they can get pretty competitive. Let's say white women again turn out um, about the same number, um, split evenly, um, and then black pop in the black vote is down. Um, but the Latino vote is up. So again, and because of the population, um, some these states could differ. So as you see in this scenario, seven percent of third party votes, and with the Hispanic population up. Um, vote up the black population down and then went and turn out and winning the white vote um, they can win they as you see they've won I but with very few um, room um, very few um, very little space of error so again they have North Carolina they have Virginia they have Florida they have Pennsylvania they have North, New Hampshire they have Ohio um, Iowa Arizona Texas example but so Essentially, the Republicans need more. They need to do very well in their base. They need to do well with white women, white men. But the issue is that, again, if they don't have someone that can appeal to more minorities or that can bring out their base or appeal to more traditionally conservative or moderate Democrats, Republicans are always going to be on a steep on this, on a steep hill unless they can change their appeal, change their um, basis of what they're for. And if they don't, it's just going to be very hard for them to win elections in the near future, I guess, unless, of course, you run someone like Trump. But yeah, this is basically just a, a quick rundown of uh, what each state needs to have, what it needs to happen for each state to go, um, essentially, for either direction. Again, um, if one of you guys comments, comments down, I can leave you a link to the site. You guys can probably also find it. So, yeah. Please leave a like, please comment down any suggestions, please subscribe, please share this channel. I hope you did enjoy. Um, yeah, just share this channel. Yeah, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, please comment down, please subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.